Hey guys, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. And as you see, I am completely naked, not wearing any armor. My inventory is completely empty. Now let's just say a little something something happened uh, between the last recording and this recording. And my duties for the day has completely changed. <clears throat> You know how it is. You go mining, you're going for diamonds, you see a lava lake, you throw water on the lava lake, and you create this nice bed of obsidian. Then you see some nice redstone on the corner of the obsidian, and you know that as soon as you hit the redstone and it pops into little redstone little pieces of red delight, there's going to be some lava underneath it. So you protect yourself. You don't jump into the hole to get the redstone. You just kind of like, oh, I'm going to get some of this redstone, some of it's going to go into the lava. I did that. And I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. I did not fall into the lava. And then I fell into the lava. It literally, I, I'm like, I am so good. I did not fall into the lava. I'm old school. I've been playing this game since the nether came out. And I should not die in lava. I have fire resistance potions. I had my full diamond armor on. And you saw some of it had fire resistance three on it. I'm not going to die in lava. It's going to take two minutes for it to kill me. I can get out. So I fall into the lava by accident. Just like an old school pro would do. Right? I started the game when the nether was introduced. Long time ago. No jungles were around. Nothing. Nothing like that. Fishing? What was fishing? There was no fishing back then. Fishing? There was hardly any biomes. It was freaking alpha. Come on. I don't fall into lava and die. It's been like three or four years since I've done that. So I fall into the lava. I'm like, all right, well, I got a couple of minutes before it's going to kill me. Where's my water bucket? Oh, no. First, I'm like, okay, let's just get right out of the lava. So I go to the hole, which you can barely see underneath the lava. And I jump up and I forget. Oh, yeah, this lava is one uh, block lower than the way to get out. Crap, I'm trapped in here. Oh, no, but I'm an old school player. I know. I just put some water down and I can just swim out of the lava with the water. So, you know, I, I've lost a heart and a half and I'm like, yeah, I still got plenty of time. So I get the lot, the water, I just poke my head out of the lava, I pour some water down and I start swimming my way out of the lava. But for some reason, I sunk back down into the lava so far below that when the water hit where I was, the lava was above my head. It turned that piece of lava into obsidian I did not have any way out so I just sat there going WTF trying to break blocks get my butt out of there because there's no way out of the lava and after two minutes I heard that awful sound everything I owned all my armor my fortune 3 silk touch picks all my diamond gear gone. Thankfully, I did not have a light chart, though. <laughs> I'm thankful for that one. Not a big deal, but it's a big time waster. So I immediately came up here. You know, I respond next to blue. Bouncy bed. Bouncy bed. Bouncy bed. Oh, bouncy bed. And got my fishing pole and said, screw this. I'm going fishing because I am not going to waste my time getting levels and trying to find ways to get the best stuff on my material. So guess what? This episode, we are going to start over. I mean, I have lots of stuff. I have a good starting, but I don't have much diamonds. I don't think I can even make another diamond outfit. So we're going to have some work together. So let me just take a show you guys uh, and take a look. I was going to say take a look because I haven't seen myself exactly what I have got going on here. So let's stop the fishing. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel like such the doofus for doing that. Man, oh man, oh man. Now, let's put the, fi the fishing pole goes bye-bye. So, yeah, uh, fishing. We got, we got a, oh, oh, yeah, look at all this good stuff, you know, right there. I go, oh, nice pick coming. You know, and we just go, oh, yeah, we got some other stuff. Up one of your saddles, and you go, well, that's not really enough to start over, but 
Uh, it's been a couple of days since I had actually done that, so... Uh, and died, because... Uh, it kind of upset me. So I've kind of rage quit the game for a little bit. Uh, but, you know, I've been fishing a lot since that time. And I've, you know, got some extra books here. I mean, I can definitely make a bow. I don't even know why I'm keeping the fishing rods. We got the junk, the, which I think, <laughs> yeah. And, but look, we got all these books to work from. So that's what I'm going to do in this episode. I am going to go get some diamonds. And I'm going to re-suit myself with the best gear possible and start over. This game is so infuriating sometimes, but it reminds you to stay humble because, you know, Pro Minecraft player never dies in lava. Not true. Let's get going. Let's get this thing a rolling. And then maybe we can do some other stuff. Because honestly, it's not going to take that long to recover. It's just so stupid that I died like that. I can't believe it. Uh, shakes the fist at the world. So I've been doing lots of fishing to get levels. To make my tools better. Things I have done already, I have replaced my pickaxe. I got the Fortune 3, which will not be my normal pickaxe, but seeing it's the one I got the mending on right now, it's the one I'm going to use. Uh, I've got my diamond sword. I'm going to add looting to it uh, soon. Possibly in the next couple of minutes. I've got this decent chest plate. I'm kind of upset there's thorns on it. I'm not a thorns fan. Other people are. You know, pants, and, you know, I got the uh, feather falling shoes. We're going to do something about the helmet. Um, I've sat here AFK again last night. <laughs> got myself 46 levels. I've been uh, in the stream yesterday. All I was doing was doing the quartz for the XP levels. So, um, I, my thing of materials has grown a little bit. Um... Yeah, and I'm even having to go farther. So we have the stuff. Uh, the main thing that's slowing me down now is the levels. So that's what I'm working on. Levels and possibly making another pick. So I'm going to take a look at what is around. I'm going to just throw these back. I'm going to make my helmet and then uh, we'll see what's going to happen next. So I'm going to go through some of these books, empty this out, and um, let's just steal the books for now. I'll empty out the rest of them before I go to work, because I think I may AFK when I'm done. Look at all these books. Books, books, and books. Like I said in the um, live stream, I wish you could actually open up these books and read them. <laughs> that would be awesome. But, um, you know, in the, say, if you've never done the AFK fishing farms, I would say this, this amount was probably six hours. That's how much I slept last night. Um, so, it is kind of cheaty, but it's vanilla, and, you know, with vanilla, I don't feel bad tweaking or using it to its best potential. I draw the line at item duplication, though. I don't do the item location. I'm going to go through these books and find some stuff for the helmet. And hopefully... Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. I've already made a book for the helmet, I thought. Let me, let me, uh, right there. Right there. This is the book for the helmet. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of upset about with this book right here... Um, I already made this book last night, and I wanted the helmet to have Protection 4 on it instead of Fire Protection 3. But even with the Protection 4, it brings over to the Fire Protection 3. So I'm thinking maybe... So this helmet's good. Let's see if I can make this Fire Protection 4, or is that even a thing? Let me just look real quick to see if there's another Fire Protection in here. Fire Protection 3. Alright, let's... Let's see what happens if I try and add that to this helmet and see if fire protection for I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. This has mending. This has mending. So look at this. 
we have the gear all done. We are ready to take on the wither. Not yet, though. I have to get some wither skulls and things like that. And yeah, I don't even have a building on this world yet. <laughs> I have all this awesome stuff, but no buildings. I mean, this isn't a building. This is a hall. Hmm. All right. So I guess I'm going to uh, start working on the silk touch and uh, see how many levels we go through some books i need uh, efficiency five and breaking and mending on that so let's go take a look all right so i got some books i have figured it out um well first because i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna have the levels to put the all these uh things on the sword i mean the silk touch pick i'm gonna add diluting three to the sword so we got sharpness five, mending, looting three. So that means I'm down to seven levels, um, but I think that's all good. And I wanted to show you one other thing before I go and AFK again. This is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm just taking some extra seeds. Oh my God, the eggs. Um, I saw this thing from Impulse SV and I actually can't believe that they've instituted this in the game, and I have a feeling it's going to be wiped out. Um, but, you cram a certain amount of entities into a one area, they automatically die, which everybody knows. But what I didn't realize is when they died, this thing's going to be filled with eggs. Because I didn't item sort this, but when they die... They drop, they drop stuff. Let me empty all these eggs out. I'm going to have chickens up the yin yang. So, whenever a, there's more than 24 chickens and it dies, and I th didn't think they dropped the loot, but look, loot. So, I'm thinking of making one of these, hey, chicky chicky, for each, um, for each type of animal. Cows, pigs, sheep, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I just love chucking eggs. So as soon as these guys become uh, adults, they'll die and uh, leave their carcasses and feathers in the hopper down there. So it's like free food. I think somebody just followed me. Weird. But anyways. If you watch, they're dying. Chickens are growing up right now. And watch this thing fill up with stuff. Cannot believe that this is a thing. That this is too... <laughs> this is too uh, OP for the game, I think, and I have a feeling it's going to go, but until they eliminate it, I am going to abuse it. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of herding. Let me show you what I mean. I have got some llamas. There was llamas that were over just over that hill over there, and I have brought some of them over, and I was just checking out the different types of carpets. Yeah, that's right, llamas. Oh, oh you just seem so happy. Uh, I have tried the different carpets to see which ones I like and um, they're all pretty good but so far this guy this guy right here with the with the Enderman back is the winner I like the purple one um, I know there's one that has um, sunglasses that one's pretty cool but this purple one is pretty fancy so I'm going to um, possibly get the rest of the carpets on there, but I'm not sure um, if I'm going to do that for sure or not. So let me show you uh, some stuff I've done. I've uh, traveled around this whole area looking for desert, a mesa, a savanna, any of that stuff. And I haven't been able to find it. A lot of my uh, work on this um, this world so far has been traveling, looking for stuff. And I have also finished my gear. We got the uh, rate mending respiration affinity. We got the, you know, the suit of armor, everything with mending. We got the uh, silk touch. We got the awesome sword. 
<laughs> the bow, oops, I did it again. And, you know, they're, they're great axe, they're great stuff. Um, there's fortune pick, you know, all efficiency 5, mending, I think everything is, you know, power 5, efficiency 5, sharpness 5, everything's up there. Um, even the shovels, efficiency 5, and axe, so... As long as I don't decide to uh, fall into any more lava, I should be okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. So I've got these uh, guys over here, and uh, I've added a couple of more to it. So here's a, the chicken. We've got some chicken there. Um, added a couple of more places. We've got cows. So what I do is I just come over here. I go like this, and I hit the thingy. The cows come up, and I just give them food. Yum, 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 yum. And then I plop them down, and then we got pigs, and we got the sheep. I'm not sure I'm going to keep the sheep, because I am bowing to some pressure from people from my server who tend to be uh, a lot of sheep lovers on the server, and I can respect that. And, you know, I think I just might... Uh, do something about that, and I guess we'll do it right now. We might as well. Oh, sheep people, guess what? You're free. Come on, sheepmen, sheepers, get out of here. I don't want you to be part of my treacherous treacherous way of getting foods the sheep in this world there is a new law that states no sheep to be harmed in this world anymore i have done it guys i am not gonna harm you guys i should do one sacrificial thing but i won't i won't because i'll be nice the sheep are free to wander the land the frolic in the hay i guess i should make some hay and not have to worry about me, poor OKMA, sticking them into a thing like this and killing them off. You guys are free. Run. Run, sheep. Run free. Free? Run? Run? Okay. You can hang out here. But, guys, no more killing of the sheeps in my world. That should make a lot of people happy. Yep, I've succumbed to the pressure. I usually, when people oppose me, I, I usually am just stubborn and uh, just continue with my ways just because I'm a jerk. <laughs> but, you know, my my bot on my my uh, Discord is called Sheepbot. I can't be killing sheep in my world with a bot named Sheepbot. One of my best friends in the community is called Sheepbot. Machine. I just can't be making little things for sheep and killing them off. Look, there's no mutton in here. I I have cleaned my hands of any drama of killing sheep. Nope, no killing the sheep. Nope. Run away. Run away. Where do you guys go? So yeah. Um, to continue to get the stuff I need to reproduce and make those things. I've made all these farms up here during the streams, and uh, you guys can catch the streams um, during the weekdays, Tuesday through Saturday at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time. I know, not the most effective time to stream, but um, that's where I'm going to be streaming from this world for a while. So if you want to catch everything that's happening over here, that is the time that you have to do it. So I'm going to breed up the rest of these. There's a couple more in here. I guess that's it. And we can put those in here. So now we got some extra potatoes. We can... I, I think the uh, cows are finally getting to the age where, or the amount that they're killing over. I'm gonna do that with the pigs. We're a little bit behind with the pigs. <laughs> yep, they, they seem happy. They seem happy as pigs and caca. So, yeah, the cow, cow's at the, the level where they're going to um, start killing themselves when I breed them, which is awesome. Unless you're a cow lover, but guess what? I need some sort of food. Um, eat some grass. You look a little naked. You also, did I traumatize you so much to having you in that one hole that you just do not want to eat grass? What's going on? Come on. 
Eat the grass, it's right there. You want it? I know you do. I haven't fed you that much. Well, actually, I did kind of feed you recently. Yeah, so I, I shaved them so I can get the llamas to have uh, coats on them. So I plan on, and this will be in the next episode, making some sort of pathway over from over there to over here. Um, I'm making it look all nice and stuff. I also have one going to the portal. And also, I am going to have to figure out the exact spawn chunks for this world so I can um, get some gold. So I can set up the gold farms that I want. Not the gold farms, the iron farms. Because I, I do want an iron farm and I want to get one going pretty quick. I have a couple of villagers over in the extreme hills over there that um, are trapped. So I need to get one more and uh, we'll be all set. With the villagers so we can start breeding the villagers for the iron farm but that's really gonna be it um i must say let me, let me go like this let me, let me so yeah <laughs> i hike my pants up high yes i do above the belly button but you know that's my that's my strategy that's the way i look and you're gonna like it so what we're gonna <laughs> do is uh figure out the um uh, spawn chunks build an iron farm and uh maybe find a desert and savannah and mesa and stuff in the next episode but i will also say that i am decided that i do want to stream on a regular basis and the only time i can stream is in the morning when i do this uh which is record my videos so my video production might be down so don't be upset i'd rather be streaming because streaming you can get instant reaction you have people in the room you can hang out with people you can talk with people videos a day or so later i can come back and see a couple of comments and reply but ultimately i have the same amount of people watching my streams as i do who watch my videos so um and streaming for me right now is a lot more fun so i'm gonna be focusing on that when i normally would do the videos and until my f uh, second job is gone and I can start streaming at night again, uh, my video production is going to be way down, just so you know. But I still will be making videos, um, uh, not as often, but I will be uploading my streams to YouTube also. So the same place you found this, you'll find my streams from this world and other things also. So have a great day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Derping Around a little bit and slowly work in this world into something fun and exciting have a great day guys thank you for watching goodbye